There we go. There's King of the Castle. So we're going to go for a new dynasty. The monarch is, of course, emperor. And the dynasty will be imps. Yep. And we are, of course, a day them. And that's basically what we look like, for sure. So let's see. And we're all going to play on Twitch. Stream on Twitch and your viewers can join your game simply by typing into chat. Players who have bought the game will appear in the story more often. Alright. Um, I have to pick something here now. And this is actually our map. Is this randomly generated? <laughs> you cannot revolt yet. You need uh, a high defiance. Five or eight or something, I think. Um... It, it'll tell you, but I love I love your spirit. We, we get into it just immediately rolled against me. What have I ever done? Really, I haven't done anything yet. Don't revolt. <laughs> oh, you don't see the overlay due to older mobile app. Ah, that's a shame. I'm sorry. That sucks. Is, is that the same for everyone on the mobile app or is it just yours? Oh, no. I accidentally clicked that thing. So let's pretend I did that on purpose. The monarch must acquire an heir and complete the ambition to win a game. A spouse is useful, but not necessary. Okay. We might get a different heir another way then. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you or before you lose all authority, treasury, stability. So I need to keep these up. So this is your monarch, the streamer's character. They'll appear in more stories, but not all. The kingdom starts our authority, stability, treasury. If any of them go to zero at the start of the season, the game will end. The region starts our trade, farming, military, faith, and defiance. If defiance is higher than both authority and stability. Okay, so right now defiance would not have to be at 11 to be higher. Uh, this will pause the scheme and risky. Uh, you can scroll through the full list of nobles and their wealth here. The noble list is there, okay. Alright. So here I can see the nobles, basically, and your wealth. Very good. So let's see. Um, our spy master. Your majesty, in the first few years of your reign, are the most difficult. You're new and unproven. What do you say? The nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet Clement in your place. Oh no. The fools couldn't scheme their way out of paper bag. <laughs> You're not fools. You're all very smart. And anyone who wants to join the nobles right now types exclamation mark join and then types a types a pronoun. Exclamation mark join he. Exclamation mark join she. Exclamation mark, join they. That's how you're going to be addressed in this. I'm just going to go with oh no on this one. To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is this. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Okay, so now I basically set uh, ambition, my goal, really. So will I be a conqueror? Our goal will be military. I'll be the greatest monarch who ever lived. Authority. A peacekeeper. Stability. As the parent of the nation. Farming. A saint. Gold faith. As the architect of a new golden age. Okay. I wonder. You guys can guess what I'm gonna pick. I have chosen. I know what I'm gonna pick. It's done. But I wanna see what you guys think I'm gonna pick. Let's see. Let's let's have some guesses here. While I take a little sip of my water. Conqueror. That's a guess for sure. Parent of the nation, okay? All right, you're wrong. I want to be a saint. This is how I will be remembered. I am a saint, don't you know? The church will love you, I suspect, but will anyone else? I don't think so. 
I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the kingdom's overall faith as much as possible. Once you have an heir, you will, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Okay, very good. So we've done that. Um, let's go for the coronation then, I suppose. Your majesty, I've scheduled a coronation, uh, coronation to take place in a week's time. Why the hurry? What's going on here? <laughs> no, you cannot revolt now. Not yet. Delicious French toast, perfect eggs. Nice. Absolute bliss. Very well. That's nice. Hope you enjoyed. Sounds good. <laughs> You're gonna ask if we can revolt yet every five minutes, aren't you? Okay, let's see. Very well then, what must I do? The delay any longer would make the nobles restless, and when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. That sounds a lot like at least one of you here. Well, well very well then, what must I do? Wouldn't want that, I suppose. They wouldn't dare. I know you would, so... What must I do? As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. <laughs> of course. Shall we call the nobles in? Certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. Not all choices that change stats have those indicators and they do not show the region affected. Okay. Alright. These are the up upcoming choices. Your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. The monarch can change a vote. With a law, okay, you may use one law per vote, try using your veto on one option you dislike. When you when the vote opens, nobles vote using the command. So you would type in exclamation mark vote, and then whichever option you would like, A, B, C, D, whatever. The monarch may close the vote anytime after all nobles have voted, or the timer hits zero. All right, okay. This is pretty straightforward so far. Right, so I can do a veto here by basically making a choice. Let's see. What kind of coronation should be held for the new monarch? Uh, host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. Invite foreign dignitaries and show off your wealth. So this would decrease the treasury and increase stability. Invite foreign dignitaries and show off your wealth. Lowers the treasury, increases trade somewhere. We don't know where it would increase trade, but somewhere it would. Uh, it would increase wealth, which I don't have. You guys have wealth. The chat is in the way of the options. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's a good point. Thank you. Um, let me just... I'll hide Twitch chat while we vote, and then I bring it back up, okay? You guys remind me if I, if I forget. All right, throw the monarch into the river. Increases stability, lowers authority. Outdated traditions, there's no need for a coronation at all. Decreases um, authority. So I, what do I get? Laws of lands. The monarch can take a voting option off the table. Um, the monarch marks the preferred voting option and this gets one extra vote. Okay. All right. So I will put a vote on one of these. And I will go with this one. This is my vote. The revolt option is not there yet. Okay. What was the thing we had to get down to revolt? You need to lower stability and authority. And you need to increase your defiance. Then you will get to revolt. If you have enough military, that is. So let's let's start the vote here. You have 30 seconds. Exclamation mark. Vote. A, B, C, or D. These are your options. What kind of coronation should it be? Okay. I see, I see. You want to ruin me. Increase trade, increase wealth. Alright, okay. Uh, 
it's a tie. Let's see what happens if we have a tie. Thank you, Fusion Warrior. You are my very loyal subject. I will keep you in my prayers. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Voting tied at two. What does the tie mean? Break the tie by selecting one of these options. Oh, look at who's a tiebreaker. Look at that. Am I the tiebreaker? Well, well, well. All right. One noble and the monarch voted for throw the monarch into the river. You guys, you guys are, you guys are projecting like you're a little bit clear on what you're going to do, you know? Um, I know what you're looking for. You need to be a bit more subtle here. <laughs> Ah, sorry, hat. That that vote came a little bit too late. Also, you need to join first. You need to hat fifty. You need to type in exclamation mark join and then um, type in a pronoun on how you're going to be addressed in the game. He, she, or they. And after that, you join and then you can do a vote. All right. So stat changes. This is how much the stat changed and by how much. All right. So, stability is now civil. My authority is dubious, though. So, it kept the balance. It is decided. The monarch will be yeeted into the river. <sighs> Let me get changed out of my r nice robes first. The nobles pick us up and carry out of the Treadwater River, hurling us into the shallow water with a chair. Very good. So, you should be... Assigned somewhere here. Let me see. Nobles list. Hat 50, you are here. Grandee hat 50, you are with Fusion Warrior. For the orange faction, that's who you are. There's no vote right now. But you'll you'll vote in a moment. Next vote, you'll vote. When you climb when I climb back, soaking wet, the Chancellor steps forward and places a crown upon my head. Is it my imagination, or are some of the nobles stifling giggles? Are you guys giggling at me? Unacceptable. Let's see, the East. Okay, we, we, we have to do the council introduction. Let's do that. Now that I am the monarch, my first duty is to meet the council of nobles. Nobles hail from all across the kingdom, the wintry north, the desolate east, and of course, the scorching south. Who should I introduce myself to? I think I shall introduce me to the grandees of the south, because they are the only ones who haven't been yelling for rebellion ever since I took the throne. May the ninth god bless our reign. See, Hat 50, that's you. Look at that. That's you. That's you right there. That's you. Um, if you want to customize these, by the way, you have to buy the game. It's not very expensive, but still, it's, you know, but you can if you want. Sure. May the ninth god bless your reign, your majesty. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. Thank you. Thank you, Hat 50. I, I shall. I shall do my very best, especially with faith. The gods, especially the ninth god, shall be uh, leading our, guiding our, yes, Let's see the north here. Rookie second. <laughs> that sounds like you. Good luck in the dice ahead, your majesty. You'll need it dealing with us, lord. Yeah, that sounds like you. Let's go talk to the east here. Captain Bitter. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your majesty. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. And with that, the introductions are done. The council hall immediately filled with raised voices as nobles argue with each other and demand our favor. I sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder our father told us to avoid the throne at all costs. Okay, so now we can end the season. We've played all the events and we advance the season. Each region will now vote for one of the three randomly selected schemes. Okay. Schemes are made of three stages, specific stat requirements. 
Passing all three scheme stages places the region's claim on the throne, winning the game. Eric of the Ruki Second Clan, powerful political mastermind, stand precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, screaming like a fallen god. Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter monarch emperor. Now, how do we make that happen? Okay. You have 30 seconds to vote. A, B, or C. I think this is only for you, but I don't know. Um, the scheme should the chiefs pursue... Uh, so, subterfuge. You need to select what you want to do. Lower stability. Raise military. Lower all faith. Okay. Direct opposition to my goals. Direct opposition to my goals. Alright. The chiefs plan to dig up old, old hell's legendary horn and use it to take over the kingdom. First, they must win the favor of the gods by diminishing the kingdom's belief in the ninth. To advance their scheme, the chiefs must lower the combined total of all regions' faith to 12 or less in four seasons. So faith right now is 11. So you have basically won. <laughs> All right. Okay, then. Niklas of the Captain Birra dynasty, eccentric eastern bird breeder, leans delicately on a podium, sighing. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the east was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false monarch emperor wears the crown. Alright, Captain Bira, this is up to you. What's your goal? Lower on defiance, raise treasury, lower on defiance. So, doppelganger, possession, uprising. What should you want to do? I don't think I get a vote here. Why can't I vote on your ambition? Alright. Raise the treasury. Voting is closed. The counts plan to incite a peasant uprising to overthrow the monarch before swooping in to steal the throne for themselves. To advance this scheme, the counts must raise the treasury to 2,000 or more in two seasons. Oh boy. Okay, now guys, now had 50 and Fusion Warrior. This is you. Fabia of the Fusion Warrior lineage, well-known southern mischief maker, stands bathed in sunshine, speaking softly. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. So, what's your goal here? This is Hat 50 and a Fusion Warrior. So, Sorcery, Raise Authority, Witch Hunt, Highest Faith. Or excommunication, lower stability. Now, highest faith would put you in direct odds of the other guys here. But, you'll see. Raise authority so far, okay. Alright. Voting is closed. So, your goal there is to raise authority. The Grandees plan to make a bargain with a wizard. These immortal spellcasters seldom get involved in political squabbles. But perhaps if the monarch was considered a threat to their autonomy? To advance their scheme, the Grandees must raise authority to five or more in two seasons. You can review the region schemes and the claimants. When you have an heir, they will appear on the right of this page. If the reign ends properly, the nobles will vote for the next monarch. 
The vote is between the two regions with the highest combined stats and your air. If you have one. Alright, okay. So. Scheme title Hornblower. You see your, your goals here? You ready? We got also these little check marks here. So faith is what the Northmen are going for. Lower all regions total faith to 12 or less. You guys want to raise the kingdom's treasury to at least 2,000. And you guys want to raise the authority to at least 5. Now this is first stage. So once this is done, you know, not, not one immediately, but soon. The monarch currently has no heir. Yeah. Continue to laws of the land. Here you can adopt a new law that alters how voting is run. You'll be able to adopt more once a year at the end of winter. Okay. You can only adopt one new law at a time and have a maximum of three laws to use. So at the moment we have the monarch's vote and the veto. We can add another one. I don't think we can kick anything out. Let's see. What's my goal? Not have this fall too low. Not have this go too high. Oh god. Time is set to 15 seconds and the vote will automatically close once the time is over. Oh, that's mean. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. If chosen, they gain plus one authority. Hmm. Plus one stability if more than 50% of the nobles... I like this. Call for unity. I'll go for that. That's the law of the land. Okay, so we have three new events which we now have to go through. So a mysterious ship, the honor guard, or the gossamer shield in the east here. I think we're going to go with the gossamer shield. That sounds interesting. Your Majesty, heed my plea. The great tragedy of our time has befallen the East. A demon's hat from the ground? Someone died? You ran out of capes? <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a man of faith. I, I would think a demon hatch. That sounds like a greatest tragedy ever. Worse even than that, I fear. An order of once great knights has fallen into disrepute. <laughs> it's the Order of the Gossamer Shield, your highness. They were once the greatest of knightly orders to serve the counts. Their virtues were extolled by bards all across the land. Tales that would make a troll weep. But they've been brought low. And they're working as glorified bounty hunters for the sap. This is a stain on the honor of the East. Okay, Grandee Head, what, what voice did I have for you guys? Nonsense. Ow, a military has suffered some setbacks recently, so we hired Gossamer Security to keep order. For a pretty penny, I might add. Okay, so you guys' wealth goes down, and uh, your guys' military go up. So military goes to six, and the southern wealth goes down. Gossamer security has been solving the problems we want solved and kicking the buttocks we want kicked. Blood and stars. Gossamer security. How has it come to this? These are knights, not mercenaries. And they need the reminding of a little thing called chivalry. Please, your grace, I beg the council to be reasonable. Well, next devote coming in. Lots of options here. So, the order could be recalled. Giving here some, some defiance, possibly. Lowering stability. Lowering the treasury. But uh, also lowering, what is this? Trade. Okay. Invest in Gossamer security to help protect the south. Treasury goes down, defiance, you know, trade goes up possibly. Hire the order to join the palace watch. Interesting. 
Military defiance and authority. Ignore the situation. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. What do I want? I'll go with uh, this. If more than 50% of the nobles vote for any one option, we get that. You guys are up. Vote A, B, C, or D. Remember your goals. And let's see what you guys have to say here. Votes are coming in. Very good, very good, very good. <laughs> Ignore the situation. That is what the council says. So military goes up, the finance goes up, authority goes down. But, since all of you nice people decided to vote, authority will also go up. So... <laughs> Three nobles voted for, ignore the situation. The order of the Gossama Knights remain happy mercenaries in the south, enjoying the spoils of the labor. Slowly, the Gandris build their garrisons. Stability is now steady. Seven. Military is now strong. Six. That's over here. But the counts are not happy. Some openly complain about you. And rumors start going around about our unwillingness, our inability to preserve tradition. Defiance is going up here in the Count's quarter. Authority is now ineffective. It's going down. Terrible. You're getting closer. Into a deep river you want to eat me. That's how I got my crown. That's not how you will take me down. That's how I get another crown. Yeet me into that river. I will remain and come better. No, not yet. You're at three. You need to be higher than ten. Okay. The honor guard or a mysterious ship. Let's go for the mysterious ship here. Chief Ruki second. You're great. A shipwreck has appeared on the edge of my estate. And it's not even from the north. Its name is Seraphina and it bears a southern flag. That vessel went missing a few months back. We feared she was lost at sea. Well, she's been found on land, right atop my favorite picnic spot. My villagers discovered only one survivor aboard. A southern sailor. He claims to remember nothing of what happened. Ah, my beard's killing me. Oh no, my head's killing me. That makes more sense than his beard killing him. Has been ever since I woke up. So what happened to you? Did you teleport the ship? I'll be honest, you look awful. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got the glasses for so I can tell him. I would be a terrible monarch if I didn't tell him. Just let him run around like that? I swear, I didn't do anything. Last I remember, we were sailing southern waters. Then, nothing. This poor soul needs looking after. We must care for him in one of our monasteries. Nay, we must interrogate him further. I must know why this ship is on my land. Alright. Voting is coming up. Uh, the monarch can take a voting option off the table. Let's see. One I can prefer. <laughs> Send the sailor to the monastery. It decreases defiance. There's a lot of increase of defiance here. I'm not sure I like that. Clearly he needs to go to the monastery. He needs to follow his faith. Okay. We're starting the ward. Vote. Vote now. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, slash vote, no, exclamation mark vote, A, B, C, or D. All right. The chief should hire adventurers to investigate the wreck. Unacceptable. Ah, why must we foot the bill? 
The Adventurers Guild is always hungry for cash. They put together a ragtag band of their best explorers, led by a woman named Chenya. We'll be back soon with news. Don't worry, we never fail. Oh god, Nightbot is a little bit unhappy about emotes, apparently. So sorry. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Um All right. Another another count courtier joins. Let's see. Uh they join the counts. Or rather he, I'm so sorry. You type it in chat and I don't even do it. All right. So let's um let's check real quick here. Defiance slightly up. I'm very happy that you guys paid for this. I don't think Rookie is happy about it, but I am. That's very good. Okay, let's go. Honor Guard. Next one. Now that you... That I am the monarch, I need personal protection. Why I could plunge... He could plunge his sword in me right now. Could he not? Pah! I'd like to see you try. I'm a defiant man. Is it your imagination or does your marshal stifle a bright chuckle? In any case, she quickly hides it. You need an honor guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. Uh, what are my options? Each region offers a select, a selection of elite guards. The chiefs with their most famous warrior heroes. The counts with knights of the order of the drowned rose. And the grandees offer their fiercest battle nuns from the sisterhood of steel. <laughs> Think carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and the region, of course. And you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'll be loyal to coin above all. Alright. Let's hear about those battle nuns. Terrifying warriors. And their sworn vow of silence. So at least they won't spill thy state secrets. But their faith and loyalty is to the church above all. Even your safety. Alright, let's hear about the Northern Warriors then. Bearded oafs with axes and no manners. They'll get drunk and cause trouble in the palace. No discipline at all. And I can guarantee they won't run off some random quest. But they're honorable in a fight. Unbeatable. Alright, here, let's hear about the Eastern Knights. The Order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectable. They understand palace adequate. But it's been years since they fought an actual battle. <laughs> the, they mostly write poems these days. <laughs> All right. What foreign mercenaries would you suggest? Band of fearsome fighters from the Tatterlands called the Battle Bitten Brethren. They specialize in bodyguard work, but they are costly, and hiring foreigners will betray a lack of confidence in your kingdom's fighters. <laughs> All right. Okay. Again, chat. I have made my choice. Let's see what you guys think I'm going to choose. Let's see what you think. I'll hear you first. The big boys. The northern warriors or the nuns is what Chet thinks. Yeah, okay. Alright, fine. I was too clear. Yes, it's gonna be the southern nuns. Okay, so... The North Defiance goes up, the the East Defiance goes up, and the South Defiance goes down. So the Counts are getting close to their rebellion there. The Battle Nuns arrive in the palace a few weeks later. They nod to you silently, their solemn steel masks betraying nothing before filing into formation behind your throne. Yay! <laughs> Alright, and now this ends the season. Let's do that. Nobles can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region, each of which affects a stat. This is done through an auction where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When an auction is open, nobles can fund with the following command. Fund a X. X is personal wealth. I'll show you your wealth in a moment. I don't know if you can see it actually. Uh, when you're ready, hit start auction to begin 
the auction. I actually forgot to unhide chat, so very smart of me. Oh, here's your wealth in this way. Over there. You can see it. And, um, alright. So, the chiefs can vote between a cathedral and a library, counts a fortress and a grand bazaar, the grandees mo uh, monument and an observatory. Uh, so you will have to do it like this. If you want the observatory. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, follow and welcome. So, if you want to vote for the observatory, you can go and type in fund, exclamation point fund, then F, and then how much you want to spend or how much you're willing to spend. Um, Valentine, if you want to join, you already know how to do it. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're not, we haven't started the auction yet. We'll do it in a second. Uh, let's see. Valentine joined uh, the north. Welcome to the north. Huzzah! As you say up there. So let's start that auction. You've played this game before? Then perfect. Okay. You have 60 seconds. Let's go. We're playing it for the first time. I'm playing it for the first time as a streamer. I've seen it once being played, but I've, I've no clue. So we'll figure it out. You're saving your money? <laughs> Okay, currently leading. E and C are currently the most funded voted options. C and E are still going. I wonder what Valentine might be saving their money for. That is that is curious. The one who knows how this game goes is saving money. What for? What do you know? What is in the future, your northern fighter? <clears throat> you just like seeing the number get higher. I absolutely get that for sure. Okay, time's up. Let's see. Buildings funded. The fortress for the counts. Increasing your military. <laughs> you don't have some great elaborate scheme. Okay. <clears throat> and monument. Uh, sorry for the for the nightbot. I haven't really adjusted this yet. It just kind of It's it's default settings more or less nightbot is It's very spicy on default settings So fusion warrior and captain Bira bought their stuff. So authority goes up Very good. Someone paid attention to their goal and military goes up Someone just likes to go the number up because they want to do a little insurrection there <laughs> Ah, guess the East will be in total anarchy. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, Captain Bira. Uh, by the way, Captain Bira, before you leave, real quick. Do you need a DLC or a CK3? CK3 base game or the DLC, any DLC for it? Before you leave. Ah, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Let's end this season real quick. I hope Captain Bira does stay around long enough to tell me. Not after they leave. You got two until the Iberian struggle. Do you have the ha, Do you have the big ones? Uh, tours and tournament and the other one. I want to do more of the giveaway before you leave there. Let me check. Tours and tournaments and royal court. Do you have either of those? Do you need any of those? Okay, you go check. We're going to continue here. And I need to find the spells. I need an heir. So that's what we're going to do. In the twisty passages of our castle, we can avoid our advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person I can't avoid. Your mother. <laughs> oh, good God. Yes, happy holidays to everyone. Uh, absolutely. Why haven't you found the spouse yet? It's been almost a year. I've been busy. Is it really? But mother, I don't want to get married. I've been busy. Oh god. Okay, let me let me adjust nightbot. I'm sorry. This is super aggressive. What is this, what what is this thing doing? <laughs> you have royal court, friends and foes, Iberia, Northern Lords. Okay, cool. Um you get tours and tournament. Send me send me an email. 
Send me an e email to this email address. Um, with your with your Steam username or your Steam friend code or that Steam link that you can generate for me to add you. Um, send it to this email address. Tell me that you're Captain Bira and how you first joined the chat and stuff. Yeah, just like that. You're totally welcome. You get tours and tournaments. I need to write this down somewhere because I forget these things. Oh, no, no, no. Write, write it in the email. Tours and tournaments. Write it in the email soon. We'll do that. And let me still... Uh, sorry, Nightbot needs to stop with this. Um, spam protection. Let me see. I'll just disable a bunch, honestly. I'll leave the link spawn up and the blacklist words phrases. Everything else is disabled now. Um, oh, thank you so much for the for the gift. That's amazing. Thank you. And why are my things not firing again? The alerts. A golden kappa train just started. What the heck is a golden kappa train? <laughs> okay. Limited time to earn an exclusive golden kappa mode. Crazy. All right. Good. Then uh, let's keep going here, maybe. Uh, you sent the email, I hope. Let me know if you did. And I'll get around to it after that. Thank you for the follow and welcome. So, you better find one in time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding an eligible candidate. What's your preference? Men, women, or do you not mind? Well, I mean, we're looking for a... Oh, thank you. Holy heck, thank you so much. That's crazy. That's... What? Welcome, System Error, and uh, thank you. Hype train stuff going on. We golden Kappa thing unlocked. That's crazy. My God. <laughs> Completely overwhelmed. New game, new things happening there. That's crazy. Ten sub. Wow. Thanks so much. That's that's amazing. That's crazy. <laughs> Completely shot past the sub goal in one go. What the hell? Alrighty. Um, <laughs> level 5 train. I don't know what it means, but I think it's good. Isn't it? Um, we're gonna go with any. Though I think having a wife would be better for getting an heir. But the game was like, it doesn't really matter. Excellent. I send out messengers to find the most influential mobile families in the king. Let's see what they have to offer. All right, the adventurers return on an embarrassing problem. Let's check out the embarrassing problem the South has. <laughs> We're level four, getting 100% at level five means we cap. Okay, and capping does what? <laughs> This is a player who has bought Kingdom King of the Castle. They can set the customizations, get access to special outfits, and appear more often. Okay, so we got system error there. Very good. Welcome. I try to do voices, but they're not very consistent, so bear with me. This is just all my all my uh, dungeon mastering here, trying to uh, train a little bit. I've never seen a golden kappa train before, ever. I me neither. I must say, it's insane. But it did unlock something. Your holiness, I'm afraid someone has been painting obscene graffiti on your monument in the south. What do you mean obscene? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do a voice for you, system error. You're in chat. Uh, give me, give me like two elements that your voice that I'm trying to do for you should have. Like old, male, loud, whisper, frantic... Something. How, how you would like me to try to do your voice. I'll try and note it down somewhere so I can try and replicate those. 
If you want, otherwise I'm just gonna do anything, something, whatever. <laughs> Depressed high pitched. Very good. No, I'm not gonna just do that. Depressed high pitched. Okay, I'll try that. No, 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 no. That's no joke. Normal for you? Okay. I, I do really want to give depressed high pitched a go though, honestly. I'll give it a go. I'm not going to do it con consistently. I just... Rookie, that is the perfect emote for the situation. I didn't think there would be a good situation for this, but this is the perfect one. So it's going to just stop what you're doing. <laughs> situation arrested. Arrested development. What is high pitch depressed? I'll try. Your holiness... I'm afraid someone has been painting obscene graffiti on your monument in the south. Was that depressed high pitch? <laughs> oh, we're gonna go with normal voice. Normal voice. Your holiness, I'm afraid someone has been painting obscene graffiti on your monument in the south. What do you mean obscene though? It describes you as a tyrant. And in addition, there are images. What kind of images? The obscene kind? Come on now, be specific. You'd rather not. We're all adults here, I'm sure. If you're not chat, then this is your thing right now. Please, your highness, I'd rather not discuss such vile matters in front of the council. <laughs> There's a meme song called Who's Drawing Dicks? Give me the details, damn it. Okay, I can do that and defiance goes up. Can you paint? <laughs> I'm not gonna bring up paint trying to get this going. Um, understood. Sorry for pressing the matter. I'm not gonna go there. Gold Kappa train success. It says. Such strong support. Gold Kappa train complete. Level 5, 7%. And you guys get it. Nice. A golden kappa. It's the most rare of all the kappas. Supporters can enjoy the exclusive kappa emote for 24 hours. <laughs> okay. Then I turn off Nightbot. Spam that thing. You earned it. Spam it. Let's go. Let's let's get the golden kappa in here. We need to make use of it for the 24 hours. <laughs> that is important. <laughs> nice. Very good. I assume it's been washed off by now. This is hardly a matter worthy of my time. No, 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 no. Yes, your majesty. But every time we remove the images, they appear again the next day. We need to track down the perpetrator. You're becoming a laughing stock in the south. When you call the council together, some of the nobles whisper behind their hands, stifling giggles. Grandee's system error 866 was right. Okay, challenges. Some choices have uncertain outcomes, called challenges. These can either be random based on a stat, the percentage shows the chance of success. Okay. So, where's the percentage? Percent authority, percent defiance. Oh, 30% zero zero, and 0%? Okay. Brutally crack down on the locals until the perpetrator is found. Authority and stability go up, defiance as well. Um, okay, you guys get to vote. <laughs> You're always right. Well, let's go, let's go. Let's get that vote going. Vote A, B, C, or D. Okay, system error has an agenda here. Rookie second certainly has an agenda. Five seconds remaining. Four seconds. Alright, that's that. Voting is closed. The nobles and the monarch voted for... Brutally cracking down on the locals until the perpetrator is found. Oh, no worries about it. No worries. Trust me. It's all good. 
I'll adjust the night mode eventually based on what's going on. There's just too few people regularly that it really matters much, so. <laughs> yeah, other Norsener doesn't doing it. Who's the other Norsener? Valentine. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. The rarest costs 126 in bits. What the hell? So this thing, to really unlock it, you have to pay 160 26 dollars? Wow. Okay. Your soldiers storm the local village, shouting and kicking people until they get answers they are looking for. Okay. Authority is now credible. Stability is now civil. Culprit is a local artist protesting a recent refusal to become the patron. I was never asked. Other th certain parts of the anatomy, which are bizarrely detailed, their artwork is slapdash and sloppy. Okay, so they're only really good at drawing genitals. I, I take it. The artist is thrown into the dungeons to think about what he has done and hopefully practice drawing more wholesome parts of the body. However, our, uh, our over-the-top reaction has made it even more enemies in the south. So the southern defiance goes up and our stability goes down even further. Let's see. Next. The adventurers return. <laughs> Chief Rookie second. Okay. Rookie. I don't think Rookie Rookie left. No, Rookie, you're here. Rookie. How how should I make your voice? When you come up here. Let me know. I'll add Captain Bira in the background while we're at this. Like I did before? Okay. I'll try. I'll try, I'll try. Just sent the invoice. But let me write it down how I did it actually before, honestly. All right. Chanya and her band of adventurers have returned from the wreck of the Seraphina, your greatness, but they bring bad news. What happened? We can only remember fragments, your majesty, like a half-forgotten nightmare, but I remember running down an endless labyrinth with twists around me, coiling like a serpent. May couldn't reach the captain's cabin at the center, but China is willing to return if we give her better equipment. Alrighty, okay, let's see. They may return, but they need better equipment. Trade goes up. Don't let them go back. No one should exploit this area. Authority might go somewhere. Their choice, let them do what they want. I call for unity. I ask you all, unite in your voting here and do the same thing. Let's go. Let's hear what you guys think. Okay, votes are coming in. All right, very good. They came together. Everyone wants more trade except the North. The North is united in their vote and voice. They may return, but they need better equipment. Rookie second acquires better quality compasses and map mapping materials for China and his zealous adventurers. They rush off into the wreck once more. So. The trade challenge for the North succeeded, meaning what? Your trade goes up? Stability is now civil. Defiance is now aloof. Okay, Northern Defiance goes down. 
The Chiefs will tell anyone who will listen that the adventurers are sure to come back in one piece. It's your equipment, after all. Alright, um, we end the season with this now. Discontent on the rise. Across the kingdom, discontent with the monarch is rising. Everyone knew they were better off, but until now it hadn't occurred to most people just how much better off. <laughs> Welcome, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Now the peasants are asking all sorts of troublesome questions about their benevolent overlord, and as everyone knows, once a question has been asked, it can't be unasked. Meanwhile, perched atop a hill in the remote eastern wilderness, there sits a dark, austere castle. At the top of the tallest tower, Count Captain Bitter and his co-conspirators can be found celebrating with a few glasses of wine. The peasants are getting rowdy, and it's all thanks to us. Now they know how much wealth the monarch's hiding. They're itching to get rid of them. Careful, we don't get them too riled up, mind you, or they'll start asking questions about our wealth as well. Yes, now it's the time to incite some real chaos. Show them that Monarch Impre is not only greedy, but utterly incompetent too. <laughs> oh. For the next stage of their scheme, the Counts must the lower stability to four or less in four seasons. So they have accomplished their first thing down in the south grandy and had 50 is practicing his sword play cutting a dummy to ribbons suddenly the sky turns black a flash of light a boom of thunder and a figure stands where the charred scraps of the dummy used to be i am athmorel withered of the storm speak your peace mortal and be quick. Hat 50. What's your voice? Ah, that's a cool looking wizard, I'm 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 sure. Let me if you if you want you can you can tell me. <laughs> Automot held back, kiss them. Automot is very conservative. <laughs> very conservative. <laughs> All right. I thought we might have a common goal. The monarch has been overstepping their bounds recently, haven't they? It is undeniably true. Watching from the clouds, I have observed many grave injustices committed by the monarch's minions. Technically, the precepts of magic forbid me from intervening, but alas, my colleagues abandoned that rule long ago. I suppose I gain nothing from keeping to it still. One thing, though, you must deal with bees on my behalf. Did you say bees? Yes, this plane, they're simple insects, but... In the apiary, the world of dreams and magic, they're powerful and intelligent. Call themselves the dreams of being. I love bees, by the way, so I'm, I'm a little bit sad that we're against the bees now. They have an innate fondness for royalty and sometimes protect monarchs from magical interference. But they won't harm non-magical folk beyond the occasional sting. So you can deal with them. For the next stage of their scheme, the grandees must lower all regions combined farming to 14 or less in four seasons, excuse me. <laughs> Taxation. He can set different levels of tax or bribes for each region in your kingdom, potentially punishing some while rewarding others. Balance the needs of your treasury against the defiance changes. Remember, if a region's defiance is higher than both authority and stability, they can rebel. All nobles gain wealth here, but one region gain extra wealth with a trade bonus. Regions with a higher trade stat are more likely to get a trade bonus. Alright, okay. So, trade bonus. The chiefs invent a new kind of super strong mead, making 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. 
See? Number go up for you. Is that that's what you wanted, isn't it? Uh Anakan de Navar. Also pretty wealthy. So treasury after tax is 3,300. I could tax them a little bit more, increasing their defiance. Nah. You guys don't need that much. Don't you? That's fine. Common tax? Let's see. I think we'll go with this. That's fine. Number go brrr for sure. Let me check Steam real quick. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. So, we're doing a giveaway for Crusader Kings 3 as well. Uh, we are giving away DLC and the base game. So, if you're interested, just raise your hand and say something. But um, I just gave away tours and tournaments again. So, let me just finish this up real quick. As a gift to Captain Bira. Bira Light. Right there. And. Um, uh, All right. Don't forget to try revolt every minute. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so two DLC given away tonight already. Meaning we have the base game of Crusader Kings 3 left as a giveaway. If anyone is interested in that, if anyone wants to play it, doesn't have it yet, let's hear it. The grandees should get more money. That's what you say? You, you, you think I should do this? Cruel tax? Sounds about right. Um, no, I think this is perfectly fine here. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. So, Defiance in the East is crumbling. Giant spiders, eligible options. And I can't read this. A body unearthed. Well, spiders, yes. Okay, we're going to check out the spiders first. I accept it. Your Highness, the forest on my land has been completely overrun by giant spiders. Some are as big as horses. The trees are shrouded in webs and traveling. Travelers are going missing. We must stop this. Okay, so what could we do? <laughs> we could just burn it. Burn it with fire. I have a feeling I know who's gonna go for this option. Um, welcome, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. If you want to join, just uh, type in exclamation mark join space he, she, they. Uh, whatever. And you're in there. Nice. Uh, let's wait for, for them to join, the nobles here. And they join on the counts. All right, okay. So, what should I want? I should like some unity here. Up to you guys now. Ad jail. Is, is the ad running right now? Darn. <laughs> you, you think? You think that the mosquitoes will be et by giant spiders? Five seconds left. There we go. Burn it, burn it with fire. Who would have thunk? 
Voting is closed. Fusion Warrior had 50. Voted for burning it. I mean, they're from the south. It's very warm there. Fire is, of course, the very most uh, preferred thing to do there. No time to lose. We send an Eastern Militia to set fires to the edges of the forest. That whole thing's got to go. Soon the whole forest is ablaze, as well as several nearby fields and the village. Wildfires rage across the east for a week, but at least the spiders have been definitely dealt with. So the east, uh, your trade is now struggling a little bit. Farming is now fertile. So less than it was before. And Defiance is now insolent. Again. So let's check here. Total faith. Less than 12. Still there. And lower all regions total farming to 14 or less. So you're also there. <laughs> Thank you. Fire. How very nice of you to burn down our villages. <laughs> listen. Listen. This was the Counts. That wasn't to me. I wasn't doing that. Okay, let's see. Um, eligible options. I, I still need a... Still need someone here. Our Queen Mother. I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. Or you'll be securing a powerful alliance. Yes, yes, I know. Our mother leads us to the Great Hall, where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. What? I don't, I don't even get to meet them? Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Appreciate it. See, that alert works. That one works. All the others are just... I don't know. Crazy. Um, so we have another one over here on the chief's side right now. There's no time for sentiment. You just need a match that befits your station and suits your political needs. She whisk away a cloth from the first portrait. This is Annie, firstborn son of the northern. Valentine, the super cool clan. <laughs> He's your typical northern lad, big, brawny, and honest, in the same way an axe to the face is honest. Even among the northerners, he's made something of a name for himself as a fearsome warrior. Had a bit of a controversy a while back when his clan hall burned down. He was to blame somehow. Uh, I, I, can't, I mean, sure. Big, brawny, axe-wielding. This is Valentina, the eldest daughter of the Eastern... Sorry, dynasty. In her youth, she ran off and tried to join a circus. They found her in the end, thank the ninth. She had a laboratory installed in a castle and spends most of the time there, conducting bizarre experiments. She did have to suppress a peasant revolt on her land recently. I wonder why. I mean, if she did that, she, she can certainly deal with you a lot, so... And finally from the south, um, Bellona, the eldest daughter of System Era 866's lineages. She reputed to have an ego the size of the sun. Well, there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? Like many in the south, she claims to put her faith in the ninth god above all worldly concerns. And she's got a grand plans. By all accounts, she wants to change the world. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> Pokemon, but with waifus. Yes, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> You're quite right there. What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. All right, I've made my choice. Chat, what do you think my choice will be? I'll take a little sip of water while you come up with reading my mind here. Will it be Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur? <laughs> Magic Lady. <clears throat> Valentina. All right, all right, all right. It's not her. 
It's not her. It's not him either. It'll be Bellona. I've made my decision. It'll be Bellona. Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. So... The East... The South is now loyal. Whereas all you guys are getting a little bit defiant here. I don't see why you would. I'm just making good choices for the kingdom and all of us. <laughs> Two pretty options I choose Bilona. Excuse me. We're going for aptitude here. This is not about looks. This is about who's best choice for the kingdom. A body unearthed. Chief Rookie II as his servants bring in a stretcher to the council hall. China and her adventurers return from the No. This doesn't pronounce like China. China Shanya and her adventurers return from the wreck of the Seraphina, Your Highness. Is this them? They reached the hold of the shipwreck and found this. The other nobles recoil in horror. It's a corpse that almost looks human, encrusted all over with ice crystals embedded into its flesh. Despite the heat of the lamps, the crystals remain solid and glittering. Ooh. Chania? We'll see. Chania might just be right. We think this was once a wizard. Maybe the source of the wreck's teleportation. And associated memory problems. We must handle this carefully, Your Majesty. We don't know what to do with the remains. Can a wizard's body be destroyed at all? Good questions. Good questions here. What should be done with the wizard's uh, body? Let's see. I could prefer or veto something. Well, we're not going to put them on a display. No, 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 no. That is, that is unacceptable. Let's start this vote. You know how the drill goes. Vote A, vote B, vote C. You cannot vote D. I will not allow it. 18 seconds. No votes. It'll just be something. <laughs> oh last second vote I don't know if that still counts oh wait before I click on oh you can still you can still vote it only stops when I click this like I can stop it now but, okay all right voting tied ah sorry I closed it too quickly for head 50 Okay, so I select now. Store the body back on the wreck and keep it a secret. Could return it to the ocean. No, I think we're just gonna put it back and, and pretend we never saw it. All right, the authority challenge failed, so stability is down. Defiance is now aggrieved over here for the chiefs, and farming is now meager. Oh boy, I have a feeling everyone is doing really well on their goals here. A proclamation bans the discussion of the phenomena, but the people are still nervous. <laughs> Although room was simmers down, many northern peasants move away from their farms, afraid of uncanny events happening again. All right, fine. Okay, and this ends the season. Bong! Oh, I can do a new vote thing. Uh, do I have to give one up? Royal Gamble. 600 if the nobles vote for the selected options. If the nobles vote otherwise, minus 200 pressure. After voting, nobles can change their minds and vote for a different opinion. <laughs> okay. How nobles choose to vote is hidden from the monarch's view.
We'll go with this. I like the intrigue. Um, okay. Please choose one of the ones to replace. We're gonna go to replace the monarch's vote. We're gonna kick that out and end the year. Okay, so a pillar of the community, tithe trouble, and the royal wedding. I think I'm gonna do the wedding first before you guys get a mo uh, get a chance to kick me out here. So let's do that. The royal wedding. Our wedding to Bellona is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. Feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernard's Bertrand's Cathedral with ben Bellona at our side. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? I've changed my mind. <laughs> no, no, I, I do, I do, I do. Then I pronounce you married in the eyes of the kingdom. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast and uh, there, and after the feast, a dance. At the feast, our new wife, Bellona, delivers a long rambling speech that puts everyone to sleep. Um, so defiance for everyone goes down a little bit. Our authority and our stability go up. By the time we find ourselves alone with Bellona, it's past midnight and you never felt more tired. What a wonderful occasion it was. A shame that tradition demanded we marry in St. Bertrand's Cathedral. I can assure you the temple's done themselves are much grander. Excuse me? Look at this. We have the same eyebrows. Eyebrow mates mate for life. This is how we choose each other. We look at each other, not in the eyes, we look at our eyebrows. And we're like, oh, you have the same eyebrows as I, my beloved. And they go, oh, yes, you do too. And then we kiss and then that's that. That's how we choose down here in the empire. It's all the eyebrows. It's the only thing that counts. I hope you're not feeling homesick already. Let's focus on the poly- All of these are very dismissive. Let's go with this one. This is the least dismissive. Of course not. I never get homesick, actually. I can't abide by people who waste time dwelling on the past. What are your thoughts on the state of the kingdom? Up at the altar, what did you think when you saw me? Tell me something you're passionate about. Let's learn about them. The eyebrows need to be touching. That's exactly how we consummate this. I'm just a humble follower of the Ninth God teaching. And everywhere I look, I'm surrounded by sinners and heathens. I can't wait to laugh at them for the thereafter. That's so interesting. It is. We're talking about religion. It is, isn't it? Anyway, to continue on the subject. <laughs> I gently fall asleep to the sound of Bellona droning on about herself. That's how dating works. You listen. And maybe possibly you fall asleep while you do. But first you do that. Let's see. The tithe trouble. I think we checked the counts. Your Highness, I've come to submit a complaint about the counts of the age. Lately, they've been neglecting their tithes. <laughs> you didn't see the eyebrows contacting? It's a farce? Well, listen. We have abandoned the old laws. We're no longer inviting the whole court to watch the touching of the eyebrows. That is a very intimate matter now. The Archbishop agrees. How dare they forget their duties to the church. The worst offender is Count Guava Gurutama. They haven't paid the tithe in years. I want an example to be made of them. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. So glad you're here. And that's a follower goal, Matt. 65 out of 65. Very good. How progressive. Oh, you want to see the eyebrows touch again, huh? You pervert. 
Uh, alright, okay, so what do I want? Do I take an option off? Now we're gonna go- we're gonna go with- we're gonna go with anonymous voting. How the nobles choose to vote is hidden from the monarch's view. Let's see. Let's start this. You have 30 seconds. Cast your votes now. If you haven't joined a faction yet, exclamation mark, join, he, she, they, and then cast a vote. Ah, the first anonymous vote is coming in. I mean, you can kind of still see it in the chat, can't you? But I don't know exactly who's in which faction, so... We got some level of, uh... Secrecy to it all. Voting has closed. The counts should be exempt from paying tithes. I wonder who voted for this. I wonder. Most pleasing. Defiance is now aloof. Supreme counts, some counts wealth has increased and faith is now agnostic. Oh boy. But the rest of us have to keep paying the tithe to the church. Why are the accursed counts so special? Defiance is now mutinous over in the chiefs. That little crown might make you think you're more powerful than the church, your majesty. But I will prove the folly of your ignorance and arrogance. Wait and see. The Archbishop soon lives up to his words. Throughout the kingdom, priests preach to their flocks that the monarch is a baby kicker and a devil worshipper. The gullible peasants lap it up. Alright. There, there are some problems stirring. We might have to do the public touching of the brows still. Let's see. Pillar of the community is the next issue at hand. Your Majesty, I regret to, have bring, to bring this matter to you, but there is no other way. We have been tracking a northern criminal who is wanted in conjunction with a number of high-profile incidents back home. We thought she'd slipped the net until recently when she was discovered that she fled to the south a number of years ago. But the grandees are refusing to let us investigate further. Who is the criminal? We don't know her real name, but the villagers call her Cutthroat Jenny. She's lied, cheated, and murdered her way halfway across the north. Wait a moment. Um, are you talking about Honey Tongue, Jenny? She's a pillar of the community back in Haranza. She arrived a few years ago from the north and used her wealth to investigate the local bus invest in the local business and set up an orphanage. Everyone loves her. Seriously, you jest. Honey tongue, Jenny? This woman is a bloodthirsty criminal and must be punished. Oh boy. Summon her to the capital to answer to the monarch's justice. Hmm. Let's go. You guys ready? And welcome, Kementari, on... Where did you go? The Counts. And start this vote here. Vote A, vote B, vote C. To see where it goes. Okay, we'll leave it a few seconds longer. And then we shall... Alright, okay. It's a very clear vote on B here. Allow Jenny to stay in the south under the protection of the Grandees. I think the Chiefs are currently kind of underrepresented, I have a feeling. The voting is closed. But the people of the North demand justice! What about the families of Cutthroat Jenny who must suffer for this? What about the families of Cutthroat Jenny who must suffer for this? 
I think they misre miswrote this. Like, what about the families that were hurt because of Cutthroat Jenny? I, I think that... It's for the best. She's clearly reformed, and her Runza just wouldn't be the same without her. So, our authority is dubious, but the southern uh, trade is very wealthy now. Okay. Let's see. Let's end the season. Northern sagas tell of Odelhel's horn, once gifted to mortals by the honey-blooded prince himself, then lost to the snows of time, never to be found again. Until now. I have it! Old Held has spoken. Last night, during the storm, I beseeched the drunken vassal himself. And lo, did lightning strike the earth far to the north. That is where we will find the horn. You mean, into the frozen wastes? Aye, everyone muster the best warriors. We're headed to the domain of the ice giants. For next stage of the chief's scheme, they must raise their military to five or more in two seasons. Which, they wouldn't have any problem, really, if they just kept it where it is. These upstarts are saying they have a right to your throne. I doubt the nobles are ready, already scheming. Okay. So, we don't have an heir. All the factions are on stage two of their goals. I have a feeling I might lose my throne here. Let's see. Counterfeit currency... Horror in the East, and Stargazing. So what should we do? Horror in the East, Counterfeit Currency, or Stargazing? This one I'll leave up to chat. We could do a poll. Let's do a poll. Wait, wait, wait. Don't answer yet. Let's do a poll. I haven't done a poll in a bit. <laughs> um... Da, 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 dum. New poll. Uh, what are they called? Horror in the East. Horror in the East and counterfeit currency. And we'll vote for a minute. And you can do additional votes with using crowns. <clears throat> if you so choose. It's a Twitch vote, so not a exclamation mark vote for the kingdom. Let's vote out here. Oh, let me drink something. Parched. <clears throat> By the way, we're still doing a Crusader Kings 3 giveaway. So if anyone here in chat who is a follower or a subscriber does not have Crusader Kings 3 the base game but would like to have it, just let us let us know. Most people who are here have it already, so might not be something I can get rid of today, but if anyone wants it, you can have it on Steam. All you have to do is, hey, I would like it. Okay, we have two votes for counterfeit currency. So counterfeit currency, that's just what we're gonna do. Let's go. Treasure. The South has been prosperous of late, but my tax collectors are reporting suspicious coins in the latest takings. The whole region is awash, awash with fake money. The council needs to act. Okay, tell everyone in the South to... Alright. Okay. I think I'll veto something here. We don't need this. This doesn't need to happen. Okay, everyone ready? Vote starts now. Vote A, exclamation mark, vote A, B, C, D. Well, there's no D here. There's only A, B, C. There's only B, C, because A I took off the table.
I'm a little bit worried about the grandees voting in unison every single time. Okay. Offer a substantial reward if the counterfeiters are caught. For the next few weeks, bounty hunters root out counterfeiters in cellars, hideouts, and back rooms across the south. More than a hundred forgers <laughs> face the noose. All those bounties are eye-wateringly <laughs> expensive, of course. But public trust in our currency soars. Controversy erupts when it is revealed that one of the counterfeiting rings is led by Grand D System Era 866 himself. Of course, his fake gold is confiscated at once. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just uh, needed a little extra cash. Okay. Well, no extra cash for you. Let's see. Hang him with the rest. Authority goes up. But defiance goes up. We're not... No warning. No, no. You go in a damp dark cell. I'm not executing for this. You are my loyal subject after all. Clearly still. Understand the need for a little bit of coin here and there. It's no, it's no problem. After all, you can have crowns in chat right now. This is our currency here. I understand the need for currency. That's why I'm giving you an actual currency. Imperial crowns. Glaring at us with icy loathing, but... The other grandees are forced to admit that the punishment fits the crime. <laughs> System Era 866, the second, has joined the council. <laughs> okay, all right, you stay in the game, all right. So we took something in the south, next we go to the horror in the east. Let's see what we have here. Count Kementari. If you want, by the way, you can tell me how to do your voice, or try to do your voice. Uh, just give me, like, high, low, male, female, depressed, stressed, frantic, whatever you come up with, if you want to. I'll give you a moment to, to think about it, and I'll do just the regular count voice until then. You're great. Some monster has been stalking my farms at night, smashing down the doors and uh, cottages and feasting on the peasants inside. Punishment fits the crime. It's from the Mikado. Okay. Sounds ghastly. How many victims? Dozens, your majesty. And only a few have survived the attacks. The f survivors are all garbled story about gleaming fangs and made a mountain of blood-soaked fur. Okay. Send the Count's army to deal with it. Let's have some call for unity here. This is a big threat to all of us. Best you people do the right thing. Let's see. A, B, C. What shall I be? How will we face this monstrosity? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. You can join a faction by typing in exclamation mark join and then go with he, she, or they. Welcome, Liverpool, Molly Wim. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, my Owen. Liverpool, my Owen. Well, let's give them a moment who just joined to also cast a vote. Kofin, this is raiding with a party of 15. Holy hell. Thank you. Welcome. Hope you had a great stream. Uh, that's a shout out for sure. All right. Let me go and uh, join you over there. Kingdoms and castles. That's what we're doing tonight. As well as some giveaway for Crusader Kings 3. If you care. If you need it. If you need the base game, we're giving that away tonight. You just need to kind of raise a hand and say, hey, I would like that. <laughs> Um, alrighty. So the voting, I think, is done for the moment, for now. Let's go. Voting is closed. Offer a substantial bounty on the monster. Mm -hmm. The bounty is placed. Hopefully some enterprising monster slayer will claim it soon. You already have it. Ah, 
Darn. Well, maybe some of your uh, fellows here that you brought along might not yet have it, so... Absolutely up for that. Only condition is really follower, subscriber, that's all. Really everything. Okay, so defiance is now cordial, stability is now peaceful. Would you look at that? Counts are... I'm not sure. Do you need to increase this? You have to decrease this, my people. Okay, let's uh, check out stargazing then. This simply can't go on, your majesty. These arch buffins think they know everything, but they know nothing of the ninth god's wrath. Squalor, please, your majesty, we found the perfect site for an observatory eh? high in the southern hills, but it's on Grandi Kofindis lands, and it refuses to let us build here. They do not know anything. I mean, I might, I'm, I'm inclined to agree here. <laughs> You're in for long scheme. Okay, sure, I get it. I, I, I don't judge. I'm no good with, uh, with intrigue and all that. So, absolutely. <laughs> it's heresy. Such things are heresy. The stars are just big and close, uh, just as big and close as the ninth god intended. Who put you up to this idea, hmm? I bet it was one of those counts, like Liverpool, my own win. Let them build the grand window <laughs> to the gods in the sky. Thank you for the follow and welcome. Uh, construct the observatory. These are the options. We construct the, uh, the observatory, find a different side for the... Uh, forbid the construction of the observatory. All I can do is look away. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh my lord, so much going on. Uh, and so many people joining into the factions. Noblest. By the way, I've never seen this many followers. I've never seen this many viewers. I'm... My goodness. It's like a quarter to Christmas Day. 15 minutes, basically, until Christmas Day. You guys are doing it. Any true follower of the ninth would allow such a heathenist construction to come through. Okay, we will start the voting in a second. How are you chiefs again? You can change it, by the way, I think. Uh, you can just exclamation mark join and then you can switch over. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's start the voting now. You tried. Wait, can I push you around? No, I have no, I have no influence. I'm sorry. Stuck in chief's prison. <laughs> I think you have to do it before you declare it. But voting is up. Uh, let's see it. Let's hear it. I'm very sad about... People, you need to wait for vote for C. Vote C is the right answer. What are you doing? This is the wrong answer. This is wrong. Don't you understand that this is wrong? You need to vote C. I should have... I should have helped. I should have told you to vote correctly before I started this. Yes, vote C. See? They get it. Everyone, no, I'm very not glad that you can agree. This is very wrong. This is the wrong option. You have no idea what you're doing. You're upsetting the ninth. Don't upset the ninth. Ah. We will never know who voted for this. Our people are indeed without God. I, I must agree. I must agree. <sighs> the grandees grumble and groan, but the construction goes ahead. Over time, the observatory provides new jobs and brings many traveling scholars to the area, paying for itself many times over. Trade is now opulent. Defiance is aloof. The authority challenge succeeded. Let's see. At least faith didn't go even further down. I mean, look at this. The chiefs are faithless. The counts are faithless. Only the grandees are holding faith. Let's end this accursed season with an auction. So what we provide, we're not blind to the ninth. Nothing. Alright, let's see. You guys get to bid. Build some stuff. You know how it goes. You, uh, you type exclamation mark fund and then the option you want. A, B, C, D, E, F. And then how much you want to spend on that. Let's start this auction. Let's go, everyone. Let's hear it.
All right. First thing is coming in. D is leading. A prison. A is a close second. A fortress. There are really no great options. Oh, D is D is going hard. People really want D. You want a prison, huh? All right, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. You need to type exclamation mark. <laughs> Everyone wants the D. Well, there it goes. The prison was funded. And the fortress as well. So the military of the chief increases. Whereas stability in the kingdom goes down. Why would you do that? Why would you try to destabilize the kingdom, huh? <sighs> the counts. I have to keep an eye on you folks. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff only happening in the... In the in the here, in the capital. Let's see, a good word. Greetings, Zimpra. I've had an idea. As you know, the people of the South are quite pious. As a member of the royal household and an avid adherent to the church myself, I thought I might go back to my homeland for a time and take the opportunity to preach in your favor. I mean, make me some kind of saint? Hmm? Some kind of saint? Yeah, we're keeping an eye on eye on the counts. The rebellion's coming. <laughs> They've been screaming rebellion ever since we started this. Like the very first thing that happened was just everyone yelling for rebellion. Uh, go forth and teach them to love me. Praise me. I'll make the preparations immediately. She's a good wife. Look, look at our perfectly matched eyebrows. She is the flower of my brow. Word spreads fast that the queen consort is planning a tour in the south. Thousands flock to towns and villages where she plans to stop. Blessed grandy wife. Aye. Still no contact of the eyebrows. Listen, it has happened. You need to trust us here. Look at us. Look at how stable our kingdom is. It would be much less stable if our eyebrows never touched. That's how you can tell that it happened. Unfortunately, they're mostly flocking to throw vegetables. The popularity of the church in the south is clearly didn't amount to much as Bella uh, Bellona hoped. Stability is steady. Faith challenge failed. Defiance is now grumbling. It's not long before, the co before she calls off the tour and returns home. Her tail tucked between her legs. Alright. About your heir. Let's see about this. Your marriage to Bologna has grown strong and steady like an old coastal wall. Though it began as a political arrangement, it blossomed into something like love. Yes, nothing quite like eyebrow love. It's high time you thought about an heir. Congratulations, I in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. I'm very happy, thank you. Your happiness isn't as important as fulfilling your duty to the kingdom. But I'm glad you've found a way to have both. You've done well so far, but something is still missing. An heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. My wife and I will have a child together. I'm pretty sure I have a bastard lying around here somewhere. Who doesn't? Who d Let's be honest. It's the first thing. If you move out of your parents' house, the first thing you get yourself is a bastard. Just put it in a tool cupboard. You can use it any time. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Uh, I'll make my youngest cousin my heir. I plan to adopt a lowborn child from the orphanage. Um, no, my wife and I will have ch a child together. I, I believe in the power of the eyebrow symmetry. Got to be sure to have one in case of emergency. Yes. Like, one day you wake up and people are knocking on your door demanding to see your bastard. And you're like, no, I need to go down to the bastard central store and pick one up. I forgot. And then you're fined. 
You're fined because you do not have a bastard at home. Nay, you shall never fall into this trap. No, no. Ah, the traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can um, get down to business. A whole month? Man, this emperor has some stamina. The long march north. Let's see. In case of political marriage, bring out the bastard. Or maybe it's like one of those uh, emergency holding things for like a fire axe. It's just a big case with a glass in front and then a uh, break in case of emergency where you need a bastard. <laughs> in case of political marriage emergency, bring out the bastard. Good evening, your majesty. Tell me, have you ever heard of Old Hell's Horn? A northern legend, right? The Horn of Old Ed is indeed an Northern legend, a horn gifted by uh, to mortals before the Ninth Trium during the Cursed Age. Get to the point. You must understand, whether it is a creation of pagan spirit or not, the horn is real. My sources confirm it. <gasps> it's said to have the power to destroy any fortification with a single toot. Oh, they use Mastodon with the horn. That's how that goes. <laughs> In case of succession emergency, break glass. Aye. The chiefs are searching for it in the frozen wastes, having received sign hinting at its location. You mean where the ice giants live? Precisely. We'll need to stop them before they retrieve it, if at all possible. They've gathered a great host of warrior heroes for the journey to the wastes. We must act fast to have any hope of stopping them. I hastily assemble the council to deal with the chief's military buildup. The chiefs predictably deny everything. <clears throat> Would you deny us our right to protect ourselves from the ice giants? Bah! Okay, let's see. Forbid the northern armies from entering the frozen wastes. Military and authority go down. Ban all public mention. Delay the scheme for a season. Allow the chiefs to continue building up their forces. Well. Well. Let's start the voting here. A or B? A or B? Kofin has already kind of jumped the gun here a little bit. Uh, yes, thanks for the gift subs for people who gifted them and congratulations to those that received some of the gift subs. We have some very generous fellows around here. Um, okay. Why are the Northern Lords also voting for this? I mean, you don't really get much of a choice. That's true. There's no such thing as a conspiracy. And you built a new fortress for the kingdom to protect it all from the march of the frozen echoes of the gods that seek to march south. My, my. That's what you built that fortress for. You built a prison! Alright, okay. So defiance is up to nine. The chiefs are getting close. You think a piece of paper will stop us? Ha! You don't know what a northern chief is made of. Although our decree discourages a few law-abiding northern warriors from joining the expedition, you cannot stop the, uh, them by law alone. So authority is down to three. The military is now powerful in the north. And they only need one more defiance to start their rebellion. <laughs> There's no... I mean, okay, if the if the ice giants catch the people who call this a conspiracy, I will allow them to, to be put in the cauldrons and it. Let's end this season here. Retrieving the horn. In the north, unbeknownst to the rest of the kingdom, a great battle has just taken place. Naturally, the chiefs are celebrating their recent victories against the ice giants in the frozen waste by smashing steins together and singing battle songs all throughout the night. 
Did you see that giant's face when I cut him down? Poor blighted, never felt a heated axe before. <laughs> so much loot. Never mind the horn. Look all. Uh, look at all this gold. The northern chief's wealth has increased. The party lasts long into the night. A few chiefs take turns drinking mead out of Ordel Hall, Old Hell's horn. As dawn breaks, they stumble into the main hall, where Chief Eric has beckoned them. Quiet down, you louts. It's time to get serious. This horn has the power to collapse buildings, cause earthquakes, even destroy mountains. We must vote on how it will be used. Okay, this is only for the chiefs. Vote now. Threaten to destroy the kingdom's food supplies. Sneak into the capital and collapse the palace onto the monarch's head. The chiefs need to vote here. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right. I see, I see your plan. I see where you're going with this. You sneak into the capital and do that. Let's see. A bit too sneaky for my liking, but I'll get the job done. We'd best make sure that security is lax enough for us to sneak in. I'm sure we convinced the monarch to relax a few restrictions here and there. For the good of the realm, of course. For the final stage of this scheme, the chief must lower authority to one or less. One or less. At least one region has entered the final stage of their scheme. If they pass it, they win the game. They have some exceptions. If two or more regions pass a final scheme stage, the winner will be decided at random. If stability, authority, or treasury is zero, then a final scheme stage passes. At the same time, the scheme takes priority. Okay. If rebellion ends with a rebellion win and a final scheme stage passes at the same time, the scheme takes priority. All right. The monarch can only win in ambitious events, which will appear after you've acquired an heir. Alright. Back in the east, Count Captain Bira has met with his co-conspiracies once again. Wine is being passed around in good measure, but there seems to be little cause for celebration. It's no good. The serfs are losing momentum. If we don't keep up the pressure, they'll go back to living their normal lives in peace. Bah! Lazy good for nothings can't even get off their backsides for one measly revolt. We have to keep them unhappy. Don't allow the monarch time to stabilize. The Count's goal is to lower the kingdom's stability to four or less. Dreams down in the south, Grandee Hat 50 is visiting the visit Athmorel in her tower, floating on an island amid the clouds. The beehives are silenced, and over the apiary, the vast cities of the Dream Queens are hollow ruins. It pains me that this was necessary, but they were growing arrogant. My thanks, great wizard. Now, shall we discuss how to overthrow the troublesome monarch? Okay. Grandees, this is your vote. Will you curse me with a fate worse than death? Death, sorry. Or send me far away so they can never return. So I can never return. <sighs> I am worried. Quite worried already. <laughs> A fate worse than death, huh? I'm learning so much about chat. Honestly, I don't think this is uh, a game about monarchy. I think this is a game about learning what the heck chat is up to. What you guys really think. What your deepest desires are. And I'm not sure if I care for it. <laughs> I have no reason to worry. As long as it's not overall trade. You want chaos, that's it. Yeah, it, that seems like it. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome. Uh, you can join by typing in exclamation mark join if you want to join a specific faction then uh, join with a specific faction our trade is pretty high yeah it is it, it, it quite is eight so you curse me with a fate worse than death worse than death 
Well, it can be done, but it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Monarch Emperor deserves no such fate. See? She knows. If you want me to do this, I will require additional payment. Perhaps more than you can afford. We have a concert we wish to host you. We want to have it in the palace. It's nothing to worry about, really. <laughs> uh, sorry, you have to type exclamation mark join and then either a faction or your uh, pronoun, like he, she, or they. And then you join up. Then you become part of a faction. By the knights, I thought we'd already sealed the deal. I offered to overthrow the monarch, not torment them. Come back when you can afford my services. For the final stage of their scheme, the grandees must raise their trade to at least 10. Oh no! Ah, that's no worries. Oh good. So you joined... Let's see, who have you joined? You have joined the chiefs. So every time something happens, as a chief, you want to lower the authority, my authority, to one or less. You need to have this down. The counts are working on downing the stability, and the grandees are working on increasing their trade. Alright. Let's see. I think the chiefs don't need to pay any taxes. That's no problem. I'm good with that. The chiefs don't need to pay any taxes. Is is no problem. Uh, you can't fund anything right now. We are, we are, I'm, I'm deciding on the taxation here. You have an issue in the north. Uh-huh. Tax the chiefs, do it. No, 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 no. The chiefs, the chiefs have given so much to the kingdom already. Don't, I, I mean, they are. No, 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 no. I, I know you have won your battle against the, against the giants and you found some treasure, but it's well deserved. You fought for it. You bled for it. I'm not taking that in taxes. Come on now. We're all friends here. We're all friends. The counts. Let's see about the counts here. Um, I think... I think the counts, they could foot a little bit more of the bill this this time around. The grandees... Oh, oh, now that's such a, that's such a nice gesture, my dear Northern Lord Dust, but... <laughs> Uh, oh no, the council will be fine. The council will be perfectly fine. You, you, you're doing great. Let's see. Um, the grandees. Oh, I think the grandees are good as they are. Let's confirm this here. Continue to rebellion report. One or more regions are able to rebel as it defines as high as both authority and stability. I don't think that is so. If the rebels get more victory points than the loyalists, they will win the game. If the loyalists get more victory points than rebels, they'll put down the rebellion and continue the game. I don't think there are any rebels. If multiple regions rebel and win, a vote between the two rebellion regions will be uh, determining the successor. Important rebelling regions have their schemes paused. Regions with a high military stat are more likely to overthrow a monarch in rebellion. If stability, authority, or treasury hit is zero, the rebels win the civil war. I don't see any rebel rebels here. On the verge of rebellion. Cannot start a rebellion. Cannot start a rebellion. It looks fine. <laughs> yes, indeed. The, the, the chiefs have gotten good coin today. Let us Let us continue as we were. You don't see this. You don't see this. The chiefs they, the chiefs are not ready to rebel. This is this is not here at all. Where is the end season button? Where can we continue? Ah, counterfeit escort. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No rebellion. Your Majesty, remember the bounties we placed on forges in the south? Of course. Countess would have hanged and were rank amateurs. The coins were only convincing if you were a fool or drunk or both. But now we've rooted out a real professional. Her coins are so convincing even I can tell the difference. Let me introduce Penelope. Um, hello, your holiness. Please don't hang me. 
Oh dear, I hate meeting people before we hang them. <laughs> Penelope's skill are extraordinary and hanging would be a waste. We should employ her at the Royal Mint to help us make coins that can't be forged. Or even better, we should use her expertise to track down the other forgers. By the ninth, if we employ this outlaw, we make a mockery of the monarch's justice. Are we sending a message that we only execute insufficiently skilled criminals? Hat 50 has a very good point, I believe. Very good point. Um, let's see. Either she hangs or she helps hang us others. No, she helps us hang others that way around. Now, time for you people to vote. My dear courtiers, my dear fellow people of the realm, cast your votes now. Yes, actually, yes. Uh huh. Interesting split here on the vote. Very interesting. Voting is closed. Penelope shall help us catch other forgers. Ah, thank you, Your Majesty. I, I won't let you down. She's as good as her word. On a Penelope's eagle eye, there is no more counterfeiting in the south. Fake coins are rooted out quickly and their forgers hunted down. Stability is now united. Trade is now dominant in the south. Oh boy. Defiance in the south is now insolent. Alright, okay. Let's see what's the next thing we can do. The Monster Slayer Heretical Discovery. Monster Slayer, we go. Your Majesty, you offered a bounty to the monster in the east. On the... No, on the monster in the east, not to it. That would have been crazy. Then the monster would have killed more people. Well, see, the, the counterproof the, the counterfeit proof coin would have just led to a counterfeit proof proof coin. It would have been impervious to her method. It's it's a never ending cycle. An arms race. We cannot win, not possibly. Your Majesty, you offered a bit of I could have collected it by now, but I wanted to speak to you first. Why? Last week I hunted the beast down, found it feasting on the remnants of some unlucky peasant. Damn creature loped way before I could kill it, so I followed at a distance. The beast made its way to the Grand Keep, and before my very eyes I witnessed this bloodthirsty beast transform back into Count Andakand of Navarre. My dear Count! Why should I believe you, Marl? I have no reason to lie. Some kind of skin shed, no doubt. Nightmare beast that lives within Count and under Count de Navarre's skin and comes out at night. Busted. <laughs> Do counterfeit proof coin matter if the monarchy doesn't exist anymore? Listen here. The monarchy is forever. Disagree greatly. Ah, uh, well. I forgive you. After all, what is a court without discussion? Without a multitude of opinions, as invalid as some of them might be. Some kind of skin shedder, okay. He will have no memory of his crimes, I'm sure. What should I do? Removing his head would be a good start. I can do the deed for a small fee. No, this matter should be put up to feet. fee. Let's see. I'll send a team of inquisitors to investigate these claims. Yes. That's what I shall do. Very well, Your Majesty, whatever you say. High Inquisitor. That's what the British Empire thought. <laughs> Let's discuss the next king. Excuse me, the next king is not yet born. I'm working on it. I'm honored by your thrust. Uh, thrust, Your Highness, not our thrust. I mean, she might be honored by that too, but I don't think that's what she meant. A team of high inquisitors are dispatched to investigate the claim that Count Andekand and Navarre. I am working very hard. 
Did you not just hear that Freudian slip right there? That's how hard I'm working on it. Sometimes turns into a monster. Hopefully they'll return intact. Faith is now skeptical in the East. And the Fiance is now grumbling. The Council, of course, registered disapproval that the church is meddling with their private affairs. They wanted the matter dealt with, but not like this. Our oh, bastard is behind. The king is infertile. We need a new king. What? What is all this? This rabble rousing here in our court. Excuse me? Not surprising when you give your love to the lines being so blind. <sighs> no. Let's see. Your esteemed highness, I bring troubling news. Someone took the lines. If you say it's troubling, then it must be. A group of individuals in the East are meeting in secret to preach heretical teachings and engage in rituals. I have no doubt. The things I hear in my court here, spoken in public. Nobody expects this inquisitor's bastard. It's true. They're disciples of the 10th. They believe that one day the prophesied 10th God will save us from the apocalypse and the 9th is setting in motion as we speak. Dangerous nonsense. Regrettably. I require the council permission to launch a proper investigation. Otherwise, my inquisitors would have destroyed the cult before it had the chance to spread. Let's see. Forget the nobles. I give you my express permission, which I can't click. Why? Why can't I click this? Is my authority not high enough to do so? I will hold a vote on this then. We're not going to hear about the 11th of God. No. Let's see. We'll go with this. I need unity here. Everyone. 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 Needs to vote for C. C is clearly the right way, my dear courtiers. My dear counselors. Listen to reason. C. Exclamation mark. Vote C. You know what to do. Not a single vote in the right direction. <sighs> My council forsakes me. Vote C. Exclamation mark. Vote C. Vote C. C is the letter that is... Curved as such. <laughs> I, I I am seeing that I have no power here. I'm I'm quite aware, I must say. <sighs> With nothing to rein them in, the disciples of the tenth thrive in the faithless region of the east, spreading their influence and gaining followers by the week. Let's end this wretched season. B has more curves. <laughs> okay, I, I admit my description of the C was not clear enough. But I think you're all literate. So, let's see. Nobles must vote for their least favorite option. And the option with the least votes will pass. Oh, I like this. I like that. That looks very unappealing for you people. <laughs> oh, four things. This one is just called the South. Oh, no, that's not a flag. That's just the regular flag. Okay, I thought that popped up. Um, listen, I'm very qualified to be king. Okay, I can read maps. This was a minor lapse. Do not think about it further. The Inquisitors return. The Archbishop's request, a spot of heresy. <laughs> yes, I know that's a banner. Thank you, the most dapper rat, for pointing it out to me. You shall receive an extra cookie come the next morn. Drinking from the New Year feast. 
It is Christmas Day where I live right now, where we live. So, yes, I have partaken some of the punch and the eggnog. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, I am sure I'm very welcome. Let's look about the... Now, we have, we have done a lot. Let's, let's give the North a little bit of attention here, okay? The Archbishop's request. Let's see what the Archbishop request. Your Majesty, I wish to speak to you about the situation in the North. Too long have the Northerners been allowed to worship their heathen tree gods in present defiance of the Ninth God. Allow me to send some of my best missionaries to the North. It's for the good of the realm. All right. Well, bring it. No, no, no. You have my express permission. My express permission. Wonderful. I will make the preparations right away. The other regions are less than thrilled that you did not consult the council about the Archbishop's request, but it does not stop the mission from going ahead as planned. Oh no, I made a mistake. Authority is now dubious. Defiance is now insolent in the east. The south has... Uh, everyone is a little bit defiant. Your stable and prosperous kingdom gives weight to the missionary's words. How else could the kingdom be doing so well if not blessed by the ninth god himself? Turns out that rip roaring to be a rip roaring success, trust in the clergy is high, and the northern villages convert in droves, whole cities at a time. Listen, I did not destroy anything. Nothing was destroyed. The Archbishop is more than pleased. He even devotes some of the Northern Tithe to as the other things. <laughs> I dare bring a man that can read. What about religious regions? <laughs> we will not have this. Ex oh, man. This is very realistic. I never expected this to be this realistic. Thank you all for uh, putting in the work here. I am very overwhelmed. I am worried and I probably won't be able to sleep later today. <laughs> okay, let's look into your spot of heresy then, huh? That sounds like you a lot. Complaining as you do. By the way, I read everything you write. Um, and I did turn off Twitch chat. I'm, I'm a fool. Let me turn that back on. It, it is in the way of some choices sometimes, though. Um, must discuss the horrors brought to your lands. Listen, a lot of your people loved it. A lot of your people did switch around there. You know? That's all good. Where could I put chat that it is not in the way? Question. Also... I believe it there for the moment. Right now it's not in the way, but we'll see. Your Majesty. I'm stunned and outraged and incised. I've been summoned to trial by the Inquisitor on some nonsense fabricated charge. I don't think this is nonsense fabricated charge. Look at you people. Perhaps the peasantry, for they know not better. They wash themselves in mud. <laughs> the commoners love it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh huh? They're saying a group of church missionaries went missing near my lands. The weather's cold around there. Anything could have happened to them. No one dares defend me on their own. They're too scared of the High Inquisitor. The trial is set, but the Council must intervene, Your Greatness. Though she remains silent, the Council is keenly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. Uh huh. Cast your votes. How will the council handle the accused? Search for a witness to defend the chief, help the inquisition, gather evidence against them, or suggest they pray for a good outcome.
Be not tricked. Be not tricked, he yells. <laughs> yes, it is. So, we suggest they pray for a good outcome. Do we? <laughs> oh. During the trial, Kit Ulf crumbles and confesses to be responsible for the death of the missionaries. Their bodies are found hidden in their cellars. Oh no, stability took a big hit there. Defiance can't go any higher. Faith is not relevant. Okay, that wasn't even good so much. The High Inquisitor gives the order. By the end of the day, Kit Ulf Maple Butt has been put to death. Kit Ulf Maple Butt the second has joined the council. How did they get there? <laughs> I dare. You buried them properly. We of the North condemn the church and the High Inquisitor. Do you now? Well, if I never click on this, you can't do anything about it, can you? <laughs> you are stuck. The Inquisitors return. Your Majesty, I've received word back from the Inquisitors. You sent East to investigate the claims about Count Andakan de Navarre and his nocturnal activities. I hope for your sake you have got results. We are the... <laughs> God. We placed him in heavy iron chains and waited until nightfall. Thank you, welcome. Thank you for the follow. And welcome. You need to uh, type in exclamation mark join and then the faction you want to join. Or you need to type in exclamation mark join and your uh, pronoun that you want to be. Like a he, she or they. And then you will join one of the factions here if you do. We placed Count Anakan de Navarre in heavy iron chains and waited until nightfall. Transformed into a vicious monster, black fur, claws like skies, broke free and killed dozens. Ugh! It broke free and killed dozen Inquisitors before we subdued it. It's clear that Count Anakan de Navarre is a devil worshipper, cursed by the Ninth God for his sins. Grants permission to burn him alive in the town square. If Counts would like that, I should hold the vote. I'll hold the vote. You agree with the werewolf? Less Inquisitor size, that's good news. The High Inquisitor is clearly interested in bondage activity. My brothers of the East, we must rebel against the unfair crown. You, you need not do any such things. Nothing like that needs to be done. Okay. Um. Let's see. I call for unity. All I want from you is that you are united in your in your voice here. You need to make a good choice and I need you to make the choice in unity. Cast your votes now. By the way, D is the correct answer. <laughs> Everything else is wrong. D is correct. By the ninth. The beast must be burned alive in public. Well, well, well. <coughs> oh, some last vote. All right, okay. <coughs> uh huh. Uh huh. All right. The votes has been have been cast. Order the Count Andekan de Navarre to keep control of his condition. It's not his fault, his nocturnal skin condition. <laughs> Thank you, fellow nobles. I'll not hunt your children next one. 
<laughs> I can only apologize for my indiscretions. From now on, I will confine myself to the dungeon whenever I experience my little episodes. I appreciate your handling this matter privately. Defiance in the east goes down. The kingdom's stability is now steady. A few days later, we hear word that the monster attacks have ceased. Unfortunately, rumor spreads that the monarch refused to punish the monster that devastated so many Pevin's families, so stability goes right down again. All right, let's end this season and face the Northern Rebellion, I fear. Continue to the Rebellion report. On the verge of rebellion, cannot start, cannot start. I see no rebellion. We can't allow the faulty king to increase his authority anymore. Infertile king. It is time. My kin. I don't know what you talk about. It's all fine. Let's, let's look about this printing press business here, shall we? I mean, this looks very interesting. <laughs> Thank you for the follow and welcome. If you want to join in, you need to type out exclamation mark join he, she, they, or a faction name like chiefs, scouts, or grandees. Gainus, a blacksmith from the south, has come up with some sort of printing contraption. Instead of relying on painstaking effort of scribes, it produces a hundred copies of text in an hour. How remarkable. Yes, your majesty, isn't technology wonderful? Don't see how dangerous this is. Books could stay in churches and universities, or else commoners will start getting ideas. Allow printing presses to be used by the master. Let's see, okay. What do we want? What do you people probably want? How do you want to f fight me? <laughs> Let's see. I only ask you are united in this question. Allow the printing presses to be used by the masses. Only the church may use printing presses, which I think is correct. Only universities may use printing presses. That doesn't sound right. Forbid the use of printing presses altogether. No, 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 no. That's not. B. Vote B, my fellow counselors. B is... I, I think... I think... You only just vote against whatever I say. That feels like what it is to me. I have a feeling that I'm not very well respected in my own throne room here. Do not allow the printing to occur. Okay, well. I see the chiefs are a little bit divided here. Huh? What's going on there? Chiefs are a little bit divided. I know I'm not. I can tell, I can feel it in my bones. Allow printing presses to be used by the masses. You're going to regret this one day, your highness. Ignorance is the only thing keeping the common folk in line. The defiance of the north can't go any higher. Stability is now steady. Nonsense, you're just jealous. Defiance is now insolent in the south. In the end, both are right. The North develops a thriving publishing industry, but as more and more books are printed, radical ideas start to spread. So the trade in the North went up. It's good for you guys. Ideas like, maybe peasants deserve rights, and should we even have a monarch at all? Oh, no. uh, the chiefs, three voted to rebel. Led by the most stepper rat. Mwah, <laughs> you say, huh? Oh, we'll see, we'll see. The grandees and the counts won't let this stand. They are loyal. Let's check into our heir, shall we? Your, requ your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council, holding a small child in your arms. Please don't ask me where I got this child that I'm holding in front of you. I definitely didn't get it from the bastard emergency box. This this is a new one. This is a fresh one, see? It's all fresh. Even has the nice fresh smell, fresh baby smell. <laughs> Should I ask that my crown be passed down to the council hall that's filled with <laughs> fake baby we all know the king is <laughs> 
No, this is my child. It's a real child. Truly. Fresh baby smell. Yes. Look at my beautiful child. I'm trying to find anything I could use as my child. This. Look at my beautiful child. Look at him. Them. They. Beautiful. <clears throat> Did you know Automod blacks, uh, blocks the word loins? <laughs> it's a cabbage patch kid. <laughs> the king has the loins. I showed you my child, not my loins. By designating an heir, we have cemented the stability of the kingdom. Your majesty, may I be the first to congratulate you on your birth of your child. What is their name? Emperor the second, of course. The gods are good, your highness. I'm sure little Emperor the second will grow up to be a chip of the old block. Which I think is an insult. Because the north has been very openly calling for rebellion against me. So you're hoping for another weak emperor. That's what I'm hearing here. Now I just need to fulfill my ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the Spy Master soon. <laughs> yes, I got that. Yes, you're all very much in agreement. <laughs> Let's see. The Philanthropist. The Capital. I know the capital is just a flag. I wanted to read it. It looked like an interesting word to read. Your Majesty, we may have a problem in the north, though I'm not sure how much of a problem. Of course we have a problem. Have you seen the north recently? That is the only correct way of saying this. Yes, the place is a mess, but there is a new wrinkle. What I know is this. The north is in the middle of a famine. The peasants are starving in their hovels. Even most of the chiefs are eating bread and drinking water. But Chief Dust is an exception. He's one of the wealthiest nobles in the north, and he's been importing corn from Tavalin in huge quantities. He's distributing it among the peasants for free. How is that a problem? Common folk now love him as a result. All across the north, peasants are comparing Chief Dust to their monarch. Comparisons are unflattering to you. I don't know if Chief Dust is intended for this to happen, but the common folk, or even some of the soldiers, are talking about rising up and putting him on the throne. But that's where I sit. You are a better king of the north, you think? Ah. What do you suggest I do? Want him to stop distributing food? It's harsh, but it'll nip this in the bud. Or you could use your own funds to mount a relief effort that makes him look piddly in comparison. Of course, you'll need council approval either way. Do I? I, I just might. Very well, assemble the council. Honorable nobles of the council, I beseech you let me continue my good work. All I'm doing is feeding the hungry because the monarch was letting them starve. The treasonous northerners, that is true. Dust is, might be one of the best among you, but he is not one of the best among all of us. Oh, no, no, no. I choose to make sure things are going in the right direction. And so will the rest of the council. Cast your votes now. B or C, what will it be? C, most likely. Let's see where the north falls. Now you can show your true faith. Ah, the north is... See? All of a sudden, if it's not their own distributing the food, now they're against it. Ah. Voting is closed. What a shame. Mount a massive relief effort in the north. We spare no expenses. A fleet of wagons groaning under the weight of grain make the droning from the capital to the north. Everyone forgets about Dust's efforts, which are minor in comparison, and the peasants no longer on the brink of starvation can focus on plowing the fields. Stability is now united. 
Defiance is now enraged in the north. Farming is now needful. Let's end this season. If the king forces us to stop, it will look like a tyrant. Thanks, now we can feed the army. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Look at the northern money. What are you saying? You couldn't feed your own people? Huh? You wretches. You profiteering monsters. Look at this. Let's see what you do. No. No, 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 no. You, you don't need a theater. No one needs a theater. Theaters are silly. Very, very silly. Very silly things. You don't need a theater. Oh my god. The North is spending. You fed your people. Crumbs is what you fed them. Puppet theater. <laughs> I tried to make it fair. To help everyone, not just those you chose to live. Everyone deserved it. You have eight more seconds to make your choices here. You want to feed me your own eggs? Oh, no. Alright, the grandees managed to get their trade up. Mm-hmm. And you guys are chipping away at my authority, are you? Oh, good God. Worse than death. The sun is setting, but we're still at our desk, sorting through paperwork. We never knew being a monarch would involve so much reading. It's getting late, dear. Come to bed. I wish I could. By the ninth emperor, you work too hard. See, my, my wife knows. You counselors, you don't believe it. She does. She sighs and departs, leaving us alone with our papers. As we stamp yet another document with the monarch's seal, you notice something. My hair is standing on end. My papers begin to flutter, as though stirred by breathe. I look up to see a frizzy-haired figure in tattered robes, ranked by Grandee Hat 50 and Fabia, the Grandee's claimant on your throne. Greetings, your majesty. Surprised to see us. Guards, guards! I'll double what he's paying, you wizard. No, you can't do this to me. Something is wrong in the air. Where is the king? It's unfair, isn't it? Using magic almost feels like cheating. I'll feel guilty about it later, after my coronation. With trembling hands, Fabia reaches out to plucks the crown from our head. Suits you, your highness. Now, let's leave this sorry monarch to their fate. A new queen and a loyal servant depart, leaving you alone with the wizard. Your mouth tastes of metal. Apologies for the inconvenience, your holiness, but I've been asked to give you a fate worth than death. death. Apologies for the inconvenience. Oh. <clears throat> yes, find the king. Help the king. A pretender sits atop the throne. You shouldn't have chipped away at the block that keeps me on the throne so hard. Count yourself lucky. The grandees didn't find another wizard for the job. Pestia would have undoubtedly done something horrible. Gordius would have made you like himself. Scrampton, well, he'd probably eat you. Take my hand. Her tone brooks no argument. Brooks no argument. As our palm slides into hers, I feel sparks running up our arm like a fizzing tickles of water. And our mind explodes. I can see eternity. Stars spark, then gutter out. I can see Celeste. Half assembled on Kaldowak's work workbench. I can see the ninth god slipping a poison seed into the sixth god, uh, god's vine. 
I can see Torgir Halbjörn leading the first chiefs to freedom from the ice giants. I see the necropolis rising from the southern desert in a time before the ninth. I can see Queen Sashara of the east walking into a lake wrapped in chains. Eons flesh passed in microseconds and I begin anew. Flowers bloom and rot, children wail as they die of old age, and I see all of time and realize that, though a monarch, I am nothing, a speck of dust. Do you understand? I am a moment already ending. Listen, I'm I'm lost in the philosophy of all of this, and you are bickering over the crown. <laughs> I am am. Yes, you understand. A sense of peace washes over us. I take Athmarel's hand and she transports us to a distant farm somewhere far away. Sheep crowd around our legs, bleating. Watch the sun rise, watch it set, live well. The grass is rising to meet us, no, we're shrinking and our feet are splitting into trotters. Wool rises up from our skin, we open our mouth. Goodbye, your majesty, I hope the grass stays fresh and juicy. In the end, we're much happier as sheep than I ever was as a monarch. Well, the grandees are victorious. Give it up for the grandees. Nice little applause here. Well done, well done, well done. You have unseated the emperor. A feat very few can claim. Very few can claim indeed. <laughs>